Hello and welcome to an Assetto Corsa Competizione video where today we shall be taking a look at another circuit from the Intercontinental GT Pack and that circuit is going to be WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca. The car that we are going to be using for this video is the Audi R8 LMS Evo. So let's get this thing out onto the circuit, get driving around to give you guys an idea of the quality of the track here and uh, see what this is all about. Obviously Laguna Seca is very well known for the infamous corkscrew over on the back section of the circuit and we've already looked at one one track from the uh, Intercontinental GT pack so far just Bathurst and the quality there was extremely good so we're expecting very similar things here. All the tracks in the pack are laser scanned and I can tell you that this is one of the uh, more modern versions of Laguna Seca that I've seen in uh, any racing sim so far and the quality is very very good. It is a very nice circuit to uh, circuit to drive so we're just taking it fairly easy on this uh, on this opening lap just getting things up to temperature like the Bathurst video we'll kind of do a bit of a track guide walk you guys through the circuit as we're coming up into the corkscrew now so we'll drop off down over the hill there as the car gets very light but yeah we'll do a uh, a bit of a, a track guide talk about the circuit a little bit more my thoughts and feelings on it and then we'll try and do a couple of quick laps at the end so here we go then coming into the final corner we'll try and get ourselves a decent run off the exit here to begin our lap so slowly guide the car over to the left hand side getting close to the end of the pit wall I'm going to ride and bring the car to the right and break between the four and the three board down into first gear try and hook up both apexes there bring the car left dropping it down into second gear for this first of the two right handers accelerating out letting the car roll a little bit more into this right hander avoiding the big sausage curbs or tail curbs on the inside and then we'll bring the car over to the right braking just before the two board on the left hand side guide the car in accelerating once you get to the white curb on the inside and bring the car out to the outside before we come up to approach the kink which is blind down into third gear just try and balance the car and hold it there's a little bit of runoff on the exit there that you can use then we're going to bring the car back over to the right hand side to try and open up the corkscrew first gear aim for the tree just to the left of the marshal so we don't abuse track limits now we're into the very long left hander hooking up a late apex and then into this right hander breaking up the two board using the camber that's available to us to get the car tucked into the corner before breaking just before the two board for the final turn get the car slide down hard on the power make use of the painted tarmac on the outside there obviously keep two wheels within the white line and then you're across the line for a fairly quick lap with a 123.9 around Laguna Sega here so just hold it nice and tight through uh, turn one and two and then key to these two right handers and quite a few of the corners actually is staying off these very large turtle curbs that are on the apex on the inside as uh, they really do unsettle the car and bounce it around a lot and then here like I said it's actually quite late on the apex and picking up the throttle if you get on it too early you end up drifting too far out wide and out onto the gravel and then going through the kink you got a bit of runoff there on the outside as I said this is one of the more modern versions of the circuit so these areas around the side here have been opened up a lot more in recent times and then with the core screw as well you've got the the painted tarmac on the inside on uh, on both sides so they allow you to uh, kind of explore the track limits a little bit more but if you do get the drop down the core screw wrong you will get uh, penalized for track limits and then yeah the third and penultimate or well, third to last and penultimate corner but I've got a lot of camber on them so you can carry a lot more speed in yeah, as you can see, the quality of the track is really, really nice. As I said, it's one of the more modern versions of the circuit that I've seen, where they've got those additional runoff areas. 
quite a few other games such as iRacing and Project Cars 2 have got older versions so the dirt and the gravel runs right up to the curbing and you don't have that extra runoff to play with. And that kind of changes the dynamic of the circuit a little bit more. You can push a little bit harder without feeling too restricted in, as it were. And it flows a little bit nicer because of that as well. There are still a few corners where they haven't, in the real world, added additional runoff like they have here on the outside of the kink. So the dirt and the gravel are still very much there, right at the track edges. And obviously that's reflected here. And aim for that tree. Again, coming over the dip. If you aim for the marshal, uh, you will end up getting pinned for track limits there. So aim for the tree to the left of him for the best run through. But this track does have a really nice flow to it once you kind of got yourself dialed in and you got the car set up underneath you. And that's really nicely detailed as well, as you can see. Grandstands in all the right places. There's crowd pretty much all the way around the circuit, apart from going up the hill towards the corkscrew, I think. And again, there's a real nice sense of presence here with the sponsorship boarding that's around the circuit, the marshal posts and kind of all the event scenery and everything else like that oh, that's what I'm talking about with uh, those large turtle curves on the inside you catch one of those wrong, especially here going through the kink it'll definitely upset the car I think I was fortunate to catch it with the wheel rather than any of the bodywork So yeah, really impressed here with Laguna Seco as well. I've only looked at Bathurst and uh, Laguna Seco so far and both of them have been very, very impressive in terms of quality. Let's see if we can get a proper good hot lap in here. So I'll go for quiet for this one and let you guys enjoy the car sounds as well. Total curve. Didn't mean to pull second gear there. I wanted to keep it in third. So there we go, not the, not the best and tidiest of laps as you saw, a couple of mistakes catching curves and the car sliding around a little bit, but really really impressed with Laguna Seca, really nice track to drive, very much high quality and uh, really enjoying that one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this first look at the circuit, if you did give the video a thumbs up, if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave them down in the comment section below, but otherwise thank you very much for watching, hopefully I should catch you in the next video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that way you'll be alerted as to when the next video comes up, but otherwise thanks very much for watching, have fun, stay safe and take care.